this is Steve Dunnington from Moog Music here at the NAMM Show 2014. And I'm here with the Theremini. This is a prototype of our latest theremin. Uh, for those of you who may not know what a theremin is, a theremin is one of the oldest electronic musical instruments. Uh, it is a space-controlled instrument, which means it has two antennas that control the volume and the pitch of a simple oscillator. Uh, by the proximity of my movements in relation to those antennas, I can control pitch and volume. By controlling uh, the distance of my body from the antenna, I can create notes. Create vibrato and things like that. Of course, theremin is one of the most difficult instruments to play, so we've added some aids. What we have inside here is an analog theremin controlling uh, the digital sound engine uh, derived from Animo. So uh, I can actually quantize the pitch. Uh, so I can create scales, I can just play scales, there's uh, a bunch of different preset scales that you can select from, you can change the root note, um, and you can dial exactly the amount of quantization you want, so if you just want a little... Um, so you can, uh, you can still contain some, some vibrato, some natural vibrato, but still um, play in tune. Uh, the idea behind that is that uh, immediately out of the box you can play in tune with other musicians, which is one of the great challenges people have when they first start to play the theremin. So, now, um, uh, for those who want to get in touch with their inner Jimmy Page, we have a built-in delay. So, that's one of the classic things, a uh, whole lot of love, uh, theremin through an echoplex. Yeah, for those guys who just want to get spacey with it, we have it for you here. Um, there's three delay settings, short, medium, and long. Um, and you can control the amount of it. Um, because we're controlling a, a digital sound engine from Animoog, we can have different presets. So I can have traditional theremin sounds or some um, more like synth synthy kind of sounds. Um, here's a good one. A lot of these sounds are... Let's see if there's some other good ones here. Evolution. So some of the sounds can evolve as, uh, as you play them, which is kind of a nice thing. So it's a little bit more, uh, uh, more than a, a traditional theremin. If we look at the outputs here, we have stereo outs. That's for, the delay is a stereo delay. We have a pitch CV output, so you can hook this thing up to your modular synthesizers, you can hook it up to your analog synthesizers uh, to control from the pitch antenna. Uh, if you look next to that, you see a mini USB connector. Hook this up to your computer, you can get uh, MIDI out from the pitch antenna. And somewhere in the future, uh, we'll have uh, ability to create your own presets, uh, preset sounds in here. Um, the uh, setup is done digitally, so you can, uh, it, it's automated, it's, it's not just moving a knob and getting it just right. Um, uh, in addition, there's a built-in speaker on the top, so you can play this thing without an external amplifier uh, and a headphone output. Uh, you can also mount this thing on a camera, uh, my, uh, camera stand, so there's a, a camera stand connector on the bottom, so you can also play it, put it on a table to play it. So. Uh, that's the Theremini. Uh, it's just a, a really fun take on the theremin. And um, <laughs> so it's uh, two ninety nine retail. It'll be out this spring. And um, hope you enjoyed the presentation. Sure.